We have to face a, a grim reality, which is that uh, as we stand here, uh, Volodymyr, uh, today more than 100,000 Russian troops are gathering on your border in perhaps the biggest demonstration of hostility towards Ukraine in our lifetimes. And the potential deployment dwarfs the 30,000 troops that Russia sent to invade uh, Crimea in 2014. Uh, since that time, of course, as everybody knows, 13,000 Ukrainians have been killed and Ukraine has been plunged into nearly a decade of war. It goes without saying that a further Russian invasion of Ukraine would be a political disaster, a humanitarian disaster. In my view, it would also be for Russia, for the world, a military disaster as well. And uh, it, uh, the uh, potential invasion completely uh, flies in the face of President Putin's claims to be acting in the interests of the Ukrainian people. The UK and other countries will be judged by the people of Ukraine and the world on how we respond and how we help. Since 2015, the UK has trained over 22,000 Ukrainian military personnel and provided £2.2 million worth of non-lethal military equipment to Ukraine. Two weeks ago, we sent anti-tank weaponry to strengthen Ukraine's defences further. And today, I've announced a further £88 million of UK funding to support good governance and energy independence in Ukraine. This will both bolster your efforts, Volodymyr, and those of others to build a free and prosperous Ukrainian society free of malign influences. Alongside other countries, we are also preparing a package of sanctions and other measures to be enacted the moment the first Russian tow cap crosses further into Ukrainian territory. And we have done all this and prepared all this, not as a show of hostility towards Russia, but as a demonstration that we will always stand up for freedom and democracy and Ukrainian sovereignty in the face of